Whenever I was going inside, not with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness. Your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to meet you, my friend. Vincent, the LSPD's newest recruit. Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop very conspicuously for 10 years now? In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, effing what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some effing coffee down here on Dix. And don't forget the effing cream and sugar. Copy that. All oh, these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. Ain't no way out. You looking for a fight, pussy? 
Easy. Yo, One of our people needs help. You're fucking dead. I'm tired of the name, you motherfucker. Motherfucker, whoever wanted next.
while you're hard at work, allow me to explain some of the background to our endeavor. A few months ago, a new cartel arrived in San Andreas. They came up with a pretty smart plan to get their operation up and running. Pay key employees at Cluck and Bell to look the other way while they use their distribution network to move large amounts of cocaine. The factory up in Polito Bay is pretty much a giant processing facility for the cartel. Every other Cluck and Bell van you see in town has a brick of coke under the mechanisms. And of course, corrupt elements of the LSPD were only too eager to get cut in. Ingenious, right? But they think they got this whole thing sewn up. And that's where we come in. some admirable work, officer. God give a rock. Cock knocker. B 
pendejo! You ain't too smart, are you? Got the sense, God give a rock. Shit face. You ain't too smart, are you? 